Hey guys, this video is on this Windflow Creative Living brand 30 inch stainless steel wall mount range hood. There's some of the specs on it 200 CFM, that's cubic feet per minute. That's how much it pulls, that's how much air it pulls. The lighting and the uh, fan speed. And we're going to go ahead and install it non ducted on this install. I plan on making it ducted eventually. the location actually comes with a protective covering over the stainless steel so it doesn't get scratched or anything like that it's actually got a uh, comes with a plug which is good for me I've got a plug right there for it so it's just gonna go right here above the oven all right here's everything that comes in the box just the hood itself and it's got a, a mounting bracket there comes with this this is what we use when uh, we decide to make it ducted I'm going to set that aside for now, and then it's got the, uh, the cover for it as well. The ducting will run up, up that way. And it also comes with that uh, protective cover. This thing is nice because it's got like an adjustment. It's got the two pieces, that way you can uh, adjust it to the size of your roof from the, from the top of the, the vent here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is just remove the filters. Filters here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove this protective cover on here and it just peels right off. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is find the center line of where we want the range hood to go. And so it's going to be right here. And then also we need to find the height. I've actually already got the height, so we're going to go actually going to go uh, measured it from right about here we had two people it helps if you have two people so this little mark in the wall here is uh, 28 inches and that'll be to the bottom of the range hood so now it's just a matter of finding the center line of it and then making sure it's level uh, but we got our height again 28 from the cooktop depends on what you plan on cooking I don't think we're gonna have anything over uh, 28 inches from the top of that and so we're gonna go ahead and use that as our reference point so i'm going to hold it up there and then mark it as far as where to put the the holes but these this is where it's going to mount to is right here so that's where we're going to mark we're going to mark the hole right there the top portion of that we're going to mark those and so i'm going to hold it up there and put a dot there and a dot there i'm going to put a level across the top here just to make sure that it's level while i'm doing that so again this is a two-person uh, this is a two-person install. All right, now when I hold this thing up there, I'm just putting the level right across the top. And then marked on the wall there where the two mounting holes are going to go. Okay, we're actually going to take item number E. These screws are labeled as item number E in the directions. They're the longer of the screws that come in the pack. Those are the two that are going to go right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually sink them a little bit and then and then all the way once we can get the thing hung. Okay, got it hung there. I'll go ahead and drive those screws in all the way. Those mountain screws in the back. Double check level here. Yep, still looking good. I got an extension for this just to get around things a little more easy. Okay, they recommend to replace those filters there every six months. Okay, there we go. All I did was just put this cover on just to, to hold it there for now. Um, again, this is uh, for the non-ducted application, so that way it'll leave room to come on out of, out of there. The air will get sucked up in here and come on out of there. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.